but the CNC machine makes it super easy. Reason number two, the CNC machine makes hard things easy. Now it also makes easy things hard. If all you want to do is make squares and rectangles, don't waste any money on the CNC machine. Conventional tools can do that far cheaper, far quicker, far easier. But if you want to do things that are interesting, if you want to add angles and arcs and circles and curves and logos and artwork or, or any interesting details, the effort required to do that kind of thing with conventional tools is astronomical, but the CNC machine makes it super easy. Take for example, the pretty window braces with the rounded over edges that no one's ever going to see that everyone thinks they should put inside their subwoofer boxes. Think about all the steps that are involved. Draw out your plans, mark out your cuts, rough cut with a jigsaw, tape down some templates, hit it with your flush trim bit, and then repeat these steps for every hole that you need to cut. When you're done with that, swap out the bit and hit it with a roundover. Check it out, this roundover bit's still in its plastic. I bought this after I bought the CNC machine and have never used it. Why did I waste that money? How long do you think all that takes? You ever time yourself when you're doing that? That process required me to change the router bit 16 times. This guy back here can do most of that process with one bit. If you want to add some custom details, you can use something like this. This right here is a 90 degree V bit. You can use this to add chamfers, all your parts over on the CNC machine. And if you want to do roundovers, they've got a bit for that too. And if you want to put a rabbit on the underside to have a place to like tuck your carpet and your vinyl, you can use your cheap trim router and an inexpensive rabbiting bit like this. So three, four tool changes tops instead of 16. The CNC just makes everything easier. CNC machines are great for big projects with multiple parts and multiple cuts, especially projects that require a lot of speaker cutouts. Check out these home theater speakers that I built. When you count the terminal cup in the back, this project is gonna require 12 holes and the drivers are recessed, so you gotta cut out nine recesses. How long is it gonna to take to do all that with your circle jig? With the CNC, you just go into the software, copy paste the design, set up the machine, and walk away. What if you had to drill 200 precisely spaced holes? <laughs> Try doing that by hand? At the very least, for a job like that, you'd want a drill press. A decent drill press is what, 150 bucks? No need to buy that tool when you've got one of these machines. How about kerping? You know, making a bunch of cuts so you can make your plywood or MDF bendable? I did a poll. Most of you have never tried it, and a non-trivial number of the ones that have are willing to admit that it's a pain in the ass. But something like kerfing is ideal for a CNC machine because you can precisely dial in the depth and the spacing, then let the machine do what machines do. Repeat the same thing over and over again flawlessly every time.